It is the music playing that I, I will need to leave the building in 10 minutes. So let's slowly, slowly pick up. Mate, it was a pleasure okay. watching you alive. It sounds, it sounds like something. It sounds like something of some Chinese Christmas tree. It is. It is a China-made clock. My digital second-wise clock. Yeah. What is? Look, look, look. On the wall. Do you see it? Yeah. I'll be changing the tune. What's that? What's that person there? <laughs> I won't tell you. <laughs> no. This Who's is mannequins. This is mannequins. <laughs> look. Okay. Look. Oh, hey, they have the, they have face masks. <laughs> they are my next uh, stage of the project. I will make very funny yes. videos with them as if we are interlocutoring. <laughs> uh, give me a shout. Take it. <laughs> okay, See you <laughs> Be in touch soon. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs>
and now you will appear in Skype. So let's start again. Which, which, Come on. which cigarettes do you smoke now? We've got Marble Gold, as you can see, fully GTP in Poland. How much so, uh, do they cost? Right, UK equivalent, let's work dollars, equivalent $15 per pack, per one pack. One pack of the cigarettes, $15 US dollars. So yeah. they really want um, you to quit smoking. No, they really want the taxes. <laughs> so you've got to ask yourself, do they want the taxes more than they want people to stop smoking? Because if they really want you to stop smoking, they say, okay, you stop smoking. Well, look at it. Taxes. I think they usually... 12 12 what? Twelve dollars per pack in tax. It's tax, huh? So this yeah. is why the <laughs> UK government can stand a long uh, lockdown, long quarantine. Do you use the word quarantine? I would use the word to you quarantine, okay? But yeah, lockdown is the more social solution. We're on lockdown. I see. But again, lockdown is lockdown. Only lockdown is not really lockdown in UK, Matt. Everyone's out, they have their dogs, they have their children, so social isolation. Yesterday I heard from one uh, university teacher, Russian university teacher, who is staying in London, that London is very much active, around 40% only is lacking to visit the office, is abstaining from going to work, and 60% is working normal life. They closed like 22 or 23 underground subway stations, the, the rest are working. Yeah. No, the underground works. Um, they say it works for the health workers. They say that they have to get to work. UE reports that bus drivers, I think they had 30 bus drivers that are dead with the virus. Well, it's all bizarre information because the bus drivers, they put them in the little box, yep. okay? All automated, there's no contact with the human to the human, but yet they still die. How many people per bus do they allow to enter? I think there's no limit, it's whoever wants to go on the bus. In UK it is street? 10, it was 20, in no, Ukraine, I... sorry, now it's 10. 11th not oh. allowed in the big bus. So what happens to the 11th? Standing, waiting for the next bus or takes taxi, Uber. Okay, so if there's number 11 and there's number 12 and number 13 standing, they still congregate. Still, no? Yes, no social distancing so far. Everybody is wearing masks. Are you uh, obliged to wear masks? Everybody on the street? No, 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 no obliged. you're not obliged. They say, they say they're going to bring in, in two weeks time, in the next two weeks, that it will be obligation that you have to wear the mask to enter supermarket, to enter any shop that will be open, it will be masks. Uh, obligation, compulsory. But again, you've got to look at it, Red. You look at the, the Eastern countries in Europe, yep. there's so much more, there's so much more, it's told by the government to do, they've done. Okay, so lockdown has been locked down. In the UK, it's kind of, hey, why a democracy? We don't need to listen to nobody. So yesterday morning I wake up, I come downstairs, the first thing I see is directly opposite a window cleaner cleaning windows. See okay. to a little bit the, to, the, to the right, a little bit, yes, great. Right. So window cleaner. Yep. Window cleaner. And he's there cleaning the windows as if this is normal day. So I shout to him, um, morning, I don't know this guy. So he shouts up and he says, morning. So I just said, uh, what part of national importance is window cleaning? And he looks and he says, I'm social distancing. And I said, okay, that may be. But apparently all of us are stopped from work. Okay? All of us have got to be in home, 
You stay at home, save the NHS, save lives. Okay? The guy looks and he says, well, I'm two meters away from everyone. Okay. So I said to the guy, how much for the windows? He says, so oh, ten pounds. Okay. Ten pounds. I said, give me five pounds. Okay. So the guy says, yeah, yeah, okay, five pounds. I said, no, how am I going to pay? So the guy looks. Well, you have to pay me? I said, but how am I going to come within two meters to pay? The guy takes off his hat. Good. He throws his hat. <laughs> Put the money in the hat. Throw it back. <laughs> I said, but what if I've got the virus and I'm putting that onto your hat? The guy's looking as if like, yeah, okay. I said, so it's not really going to work, this, is it? And this is what you've got, because when they said lockdown, they didn't really make it specific as to which people can work, which people can't work. Is there they a fine? Work. Yeah, there's a fine, but mate, there's 65 million people in the UK, right? So this is week three, and you have the, I think it was the health minister stands there, Yep. And he says, right, now, now I'm going to call the Minister of the Police and National Security up. So the guy walks up, he's got his big file, he's got his glasses, he's looking down at the files, and he looks up and, I, I'm pleased to announce, I'm pleased to announce, so far we have fined 1,110 people. In okay. day? No. In one day? In three weeks. In three weeks. In the three weeks, 1,110 fines. In a country of 65 million. Yes, sorry. Yeah? So, the people who get fines, it's 60 pounds. 60 pounds, 60 pounds, 80 dollars. Is it compulsory to pay? No. Will they pay? No. So, it's not very strict, maybe, is it? It is not. I think no, they, they caught uh, in which country they, they made one guy pay twice $2,000 in one country. Two times they caught him, each time $2,000 he paid, dollars equivalent. I don't remember the European country. In some countries they, they put to jail if, you, if they catch you for the second time. I read, I read in the Philippines it's shoot, it shoot to kill. <laughs> <laughs> if they see on the street, I read this. If they see on the street, shoot to kill. So then but it remember, stands for. But remember, and we can go on to this topic. It took the UK three years for Brexit. Okay, three years for all negotiations. This is a democracy that we live in that they give the people the vote and they say, right people, in Europe, out of you. We decide three years ago to leave, but it takes three years. It comes to crisis of world virus and pandemic and everyone's going to die. Now, now, Brexit doesn't happen. Okay, Even though we left in December, all paperwork, all negotiations, everything stops. So when you ask the government, so in December 2020, which is everything had to be solved, all tariffs have to be done. All trade agreements have to be finalised. What will happen with Nothing. December? No, no, we have world, we have world crisis, world virus to focus on. So, interesting times in the UK. Interesting times. Economy just goes. Do you know the growth figures ratio? I think, I think, mate. I think in two more. In two more months of this, okay, we will be 50% of our GDP wiped out. Any growth over the past 10, 15 years, wiped in longer. Now this is about, is this for a generation? Is this hardship for a generation? This is more than a generation. It's much more than a generation. May tell me, do you know the virus spread, the proliferation ratio? Yesterday they announced that in some countries it is 0, 3, in some 2, in Italy and uh, Spain it is 2.2, 2.5, in UK it is 7.7. .7. Proliferation no, ratio per day. 
So 7. this is 7.7 7. 7. 7. 7. 7 cases where it's 7.7 7 multiplier. Uh, percent increase daily. Right. Good. Of verified okay. cases. Right. But let's let's go to the exactly that the word verified cases. Okay. At the end of March, the health minister stands and says, by the middle of April, we will be testing 10,000 people per day. Okay? Yes. We all turn around and everyone says, 10,000, Germany are testing 100,000 per day. This is at the same stage at the end of March. By the middle of April, 10,000 per day. The guy stands there on the 7th, around the 7th, 8th of April and says, we change our figure from 10,000 by the end of April, we will be testing 100,000 per day. Oof. Right. Okay. We're close to the end of March. At uh, the end of April. Okay? Yep. We're not even hitting the 10,000 per day. So when you say about the 7.7% 7 .7 increase, it's 7.7% 7 .7 increase on what, what has, what has been tested. And then you mix in that they sell to us this new idea that, hey, we are going to have 15 million tests, which will show if you have this virus or if you didn't have the virus. From which country and then they you produce those tests? No, well, then they, announce, then they announce, we have to send them back to China because they don't work. So, all you hear today on the news, um, the UK now set up a task force for Let's find a vaccination. Let's find a vaccination. But look at our figures, 65 million. We can't do 10,000, but let's say we do 10,000 per day. Okay? Let's say they find the vaccine today. Today. Magic, they appear this vaccine. 10,000 per day, 7,000 per week, 3.5 million. So it is 1 million per 15 days. 1 million per 15 days by, no, no, si no, by 67. No, 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 no. 10,000. No, 67 no, is 1,000 days. It is 3 years. 3 years. No, no. That is on, it's on 10,000 per day. Yes, on 10,000 per no, day. No. It is 3 years for no. all the population. No, no, no. 10,000 per day is 70,000 per week. Yes. Okay. 70,000 per week is 3.5 million per year. So 70, it's 20 years. 20 years. If they have that today. Vaccination. 20. If they have that today. That doesn't take into account deaths or people that are born. That doesn't take into account that we're losing track of all these people where they went in these 20 years. And you could say to me, okay, Pete, but they will then get to testing 20 or vaccinating 20,000, 30,000, 40,000 a day, every day. And then, of course, you have the fact that the virus, even with vaccination, doesn't mean that you're never going to get this virus again. The vaccination may last one year, may last two years, may last three, may last a lifetime, but they don't know. But I listened yesterday, um, some university claims that they have an 80% chance at a, vi at a um, vaccine, 80%. But typical UK, they started making the vaccine already. So they will have ready... I think they said 5 million doses by September, but with an 80% chance. So, of course, the guy asked, well, what happens if it doesn't work? And the guy looks, it's a very expensive project. <laughs> it's an expensive trial. Everything How much goes money to be. is the project valued? Man, I don't, don't quote me. But you're talking 250 million has set aside. 250 million. So, welcome to the United Kingdom. And again, if you follow all of the trends and all of the charts of all of the rates of France and Italy 
the UK is always looking just a little bit behind the track of France, a little bit behind the track. So always Italy and Spain is worse, France is worse. But then the UK only test people in hospitals. They don't test nobody in the community. They don't test no, none of the old people in the old people's homes. So what they say is for every one death the UK announced, maybe times that by two, maybe times that by three. Because we simply don't know. So then to look at the amount of people that are infected, we simply do not know. But like in, I hear in Belarus, you have it pretty much the same on your testings. Nobody can test properly, yes. The tests do not work. Either they show double, uh, they show positive, and then they yeah. evidently appear negative, or they show negative two times, but then the guy has antibodies in his blood, meaning he was positive. So and where did you get your test from? From China also. China. From China. From China, from, from China mostly. So the people laughing at the people that make the test kits that don't work. Because they got paid, eh? I'm sure they got paid. So your government, interesting stance that he makes. We simply because according to him, sorry. Well, no, according to him, four weeks ago, four weeks ago, there's no virus. Okay, three weeks ago, there may be virus, but if you drink vodka, if you go to the sauna, don't worry about this. Two weeks ago, yeah, there is virus, but play ice hockey. Nothing better than the cold for the virus. The cold, the virus does not like the ice. Okay, and then one week ago, because it's farming season, it's potato season in Belarus, one week ago he says to the nation, work to the fields, go to the villages. There's nothing better than a tractor for the virus. <laughs> so they convert it to English, they translate it, you have those video roles? <laughs> Absolutely everything. Lukashenko, the, the ice hockey, the ice hockey maestro of Minsk. The world is in collapse, but Lukashenko plays ice hockey. We are the only <laughs> country where the football championship is still on. In the yeah. world. No, I, I, we, we see it. Everyone chanting. They actually said that Belarus, they sent some kind of internet data to every Manchester United supporter, every Liverpool supporter, every Arsenal supporter they could find, yeah, to say, if you miss to watch football, come to Belarus. You can watch it here. <laughs> but at the end, who's right and who's wrong? Is it going to be proved and will time show that you guys got this right and us guys got this wrong? Or will it prove that you guys got this very wrong? I have my own reply. There is a proverb in Russian. If you have a flu and you take pills, you recover in seven days. If you don't take yeah. pills, you recover in one week. Which is absolutely true. <laughs> so from that point, from that point, no, from that analogy, from that analogy, it's exactly the same. So I think whoever is on quarantine, who doesn't preserve himself, the result will be the same. You've got to look, and again, it's kind of, it, the whole quarantine's an interesting one. When they give these two meters and you go to a supermarket, Yep. And they've measured out exactly two meters. Okay? So you wait in there two meters, you can't be in contact with anybody. Right? And I went to the supermarket one time in these four weeks. Okay? I'm following the arrows, the arrows on the floor, which way you have to go around the supermarket. Yes. Now, this is the Scottish borders. I get two thirds of the way around the supermarket, the arrows stop. Okay, so I'm thinking, do I follow common logic that I would follow the sequence or do I stop because there's, there's something going to happen, right? So I then wait for the next person, but they have to stay two meters back. I then say to the lady who's putting things to the shelves of the supermarket, she's more than two meters away from me. Yes. I ask her, I said, I'm sorry, I said, which way do I go now? And she says, oh, just follow this round. And I said, where's the eggs? 
<coughs> she looks and she says, oh, eggs? We haven't had eggs in one week. So I said, all right, oh, well, okay, so there's no eggs. Just wait, I think we've got some today, right? She goes out the back, I'm standing waiting, in this two metre social distance, okay? She comes to me with the box of eggs. Hands and we have this, oh, oh, we have this little, how am I gonna get the eggs on this two metres? She takes her glove off, yeah? Because she's finding it quite difficult to mess with these eggs. Takes the glove off and comes and says, oh, just take the eggs straight to me, right? I get to the, the checkout and everything's self-service. So they have machines, you put the cash into the machine, yeah? I've got English notes. Apparently it doesn't take English currency, it takes Scottish notes, okay? So I've got no card, I've only got English cash. What do you mean by Scottish so notes? Are there Scottish banknotes? Scottish, Scottish banknotes. Yes, you have English banknotes and you have Scottish banknotes. Scottish banknotes really the Scottish banks. Even though well it's still it's still sterling, okay? It's still legal tender if what you're in Scotland ratio? if you're in England. What is the correlation? No, it's the same, it's 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 pound, it's GBP, it's sterling, it's, it's one for one, okay? So we go to that in a second. In Spain, they won't take Scottish notes. You have to have English notes to transfer, okay? The Spanish believe that the Scottish is like illegal currency, right? So I've got my English notes. I've now done my shopping. Yes. Right. Machine doesn't take English notes. So the only person that can take is a cashier. But we have a two meter social distance, okay? This is a, a supermarket and they don't know how now do they take this money from me because I've got the shopping in the bags. I've got my eggs even in the bags. Everything's ready and my currency is legal. So they then think, okay, just wait. They bring me a chair. They ask me to put the money on the chair two meters away and they then pull the chair towards them. But two meters, it, it's a fabricational figure. Whoever thought of this two meters, it's not gonna do nothing. Two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. Here is two meters, but yeah, if I was to <coughs> cough, this can go four meters. If it's a windy day where the wind, this can travel 20 meters. If I take a can of aerosol like they do in the trial, and spray, I can spray it. I can be like you say, vault 100 meters. The virus. And then you have Trump. He first said that there wasn't a virus. Second said that America will be open for Easter. But all's good in the world. Everything's good. He's gone from the world's best economy in the whole history of man in three weeks to to chaos but they're making ventilators and they can make very good ventilators high quality ventilators for the world Mate, what so company in the UK was promising to make uh, unlimited quantity of they, ventilators the air well, the, was the air engines producing we, company we had, we had British Aerospace we had Rolls Royce Rolls Royce, we had Rolls -Royce was huh? Rolls Royce signed up Dyson, which is obviously the vacuum cleaner guy, he moved all of his production 10 years ago to China of all vacuum cleaners. He said, he said to the UK government, we can reopen one of our oil factories, we can make them. Yep. So the government made this big play to say, Dyson is going to help. But then, he never heard back from the UK government. So the, the one guy that probably could have made them didn't hear back from the government. But it's the same, exactly the same as the testings. When the UK say about 10,000 per day, it's all to do with we didn't have enough laboratories. But the private sector offered help met. So even the fish people are test our fish. One small little laboratory, they've got 20 little satellites over the UK. They say to me they could have tested 100,000 a week. But the government didn't get back to them. 
So many people have offered the help. The government has not taken up going back two months ago. Government never got back. What is going on with the fish sector? I mean production well, the of the fish sector. The fish sector is in utter meltdown like the rest of the world. So farm is working, you told. Well, let's go back. Okay. Let's go back to 70% of all white fish landed in the UK. Out of 70% of that fish, it was going back to China for reprocessing. Yep. So the fish comes in whole, sent to China for processing, heads taken off, filleted, processed into fillets, processed into blocks, whatever. So when that sector closed January, February, of course, the landings came down on the fresh fish. Um, when we started announcing quarantine measures, that basically meant the only companies that could be in operation would be ones that supply the supermarkets. Anyone that is supplying the hotel sector, catering sector, wholesale sector, airlines, railways, finito. So the only ones operating in the UK now is anyone that is doing direct retail. That's on the fish side. Um, food manufacturers, people that are making pies, people that are making sandwiches, people that make... Of course, they've stayed open if they supply the retail sector. What, what ratio of working companies would you evaluate by your own? 20% working, 15, 30... In, fi in, in fish? In fish. Okay, so let's give, two, let's give two things. Let's give ratio working and let's then go with capacity or production as to what they would have had. I, I didn't mean people-wise, I meant product-wise. People-wise, I understand maybe 10% no, only working, but product-wise, do they accomplish? I would say, well, I would say you've got probably, you've probably got 15% of the industry working. Okay? Productivity-wise, I would say you're still sitting at 15, probably 15% of what all fish would have been. No, okay, no. On retail sector, 25% in. So is it the scarcity? Will it start soon to be felt? The scarcity of the product? No, because a lot comes under luxury goods, right? So we go to a supermarket, a normal supermarket, a big hypermarket, like the one that I visited with you in Minsk. Okay, mm. a normal hype market will have 4,000 product lines. Okay, 4,000 items. What the supermarkets done, which is smart, is they went to core items only. So they dropped it from 4,000 to 1,000. As opposed to having 10 varieties of salmon, they go with one variety. So you could have had smoked salmon with um, whiskey, smoked salmon with this, smoked salmon with this. They got one item. They don't have 100 gram, 200 gram, 300 gram, 400 gram. They have 200 grams. So they put that one down. So as far as the consumer, the consumer still has the choice of fish. They don't have the choice that they did have of all of these 10 different products. But that's the same for every sector. Same for pork, same for beef, same for steak, same for everything. They've worked with core items only. What about Anybody liquors, saying, spirits? It's the UK. It's the UK. So it's all Whiskey's open. still there. Of course, there. Everything's there. Everything's there. Proper There's no shortage of alcohol. Conor McGregor? I'm sure he's still there. I'm sure he's smiling. I'm sure he's still making lots of money on his whiskey. But... You look at it again, sanitizer, because let's go with that one. Sanitizer. The UK has no sanitizer, but the UK has one of the biggest sources of raw material for sanitizer being alcohol. <laughs> so there is little small distilleries that have said, look, we will change our production over and we will put in the colorants, we'll put in the poisons to make it not fit for human consumption. But we will change. But again, the government didn't take the big ones up on this. So the big people, the big distillers, they could have changed the UK situation in two, three days. Sanitizer could have been there for everyone. 
Well, the UK government did not go to the private sector. And then I hear, we're taking, <laughs> like America, then big Antonov aircraft. We're flying them to China for supplies of sanitizer. We're, we're sending them for gloves. We're sending them. <laughs> Health Minister yesterday says, the nurses, the doctors, if they have their apron, yes. okay, they should be wearing it more than one time. And this is the UK. This is the most developed country in the West, apparently. Sanitary And we can't make gloves. We can't make gloves. We can't make aprons. We can't make face masks. We have many, 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 many schools with 3D printers, okay? Making little visors for the doctors. In 24 hours, these make 24 little pieces of plastic. There's no it sense. It breaks? It, it's disposable. Yeah, but it's disposable, okay? But there's no sense. Because the private sector again offered their help. When one company doing packaging said, we can make 200,000 per day. Stop putting them to schools on little 3D printers. We've got the machinery. Give us the order, but they didn't give the order. The schools so are lot. closed, everything is closed, everything is distant wise. Everything is closed. We Maybe. have supermarkets open, Sorry. we have pharmacies open, and that is us. Fuel, you have to pay by card. Um, whilst nothing else is open. What nothing. about Ryanair? It concerns me a lot. We have seven sets of tickets purchased for the summer. <laughs> and Ryanair is sending me only... R yes, Ryanair is only sending me letters. We have your application for a refund. Please bear with us. But four weeks back, they promised to return money within one week. So for the first set, which was the March, which never happened, they didn't bring back money. Yeah. Any gossips? EasyJet, when they come to restart, they will not have the middle seat occupied. Why? <laughs> to have the distance? Social, social distancing. But, but, here's a question for you, because I don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. But there isn't two meters between them two seats. No. Right in the same up. airplane with closed Asia, uh, area, it doesn't <laughs> work two that? meters or they five know. meters. <laughs> They're within the closed Unless you're on the airplane behind you. Unless you're on the airplane behind you, no chance. <laughs> no. No. But... Ryanair, uh, what's the gossip? I don't know what they're doing. Uh, Ryanair is still, again, the, he's sending ghost flights. He still makes sure airplanes take off and land. Okay? Which is quite smart. It is quite smart because, like all machines, better to run than leave them sitting for one month, two months. So he's starting them up, up, down. Keep all of these regulations in force, which is clever because when it comes to a restart, he won't need to go through all the inspections like everyone else has to. He will be the first one ready to say, my airplanes have flew every day in the virus, even though we take them up and down. So he'll be ready. They'll be the first ones ready. But when will that be? When? If you look to somewhere like Spain, when will they ever allow UK people in? Forget the rest of the world. <laughs> Just look at the UK. No, forget, forget it. Look at the UK. The Spanish aren't stupid. Imagine Benidorm. Imagine. Imagine. They look on the news and they say, the English people have not observed lockdown. The English people have not done anything. They've got the virus times 20. Okay, 7.7% per day. Let's allow them into Benidorm. It's not going to happen. So Spain's minister came out yesterday and said, 
we will let the British people back if they have the test done. But the tests don't work. So, so there should be a should special prescription okay. paper stating you are negative. And you are negative from the virus book. How long will it work if you have the paper one week long or three days long, but then you got the virus and flu? It still is cooked within your body for two weeks around. Well, okay. And it can, apparently it starts, it starts three weeks earlier. So and question, where, where am I going to get this paper? Because if, I, if I've got an illness today, I'm not going to see a doctor. We're turning cancer patients away. We're turning people that are terminally ill away. So if I've got a sore throat, I've got a chest infection, I'm not going to get to see a doctor today. You think the doctor's going to write me this piece of paper to say, okay, oh, and you can have a test when no one else can have one. So where are we going to buy these tests? I'm asking you, are you going to send me one from Belarus? <laughs> <laughs> we don't choose any. We never heard of them. Here's an interesting. Yeah, tell me. But here's an interesting one for you. Interesting. Eleven flights today arrive in the UK from India. Eleven day. Full, full of British Indians. Yeah, we're repatriating them. Three months after we knew the virus started. Now, are we testing them? No. Do they so what we do with week, them? Uh, compulsory quarantine? <laughs> no. It is two week compulsory under your own supervision. <laughs> You're told to go home. You're told to go home, stay 14 days, don't leave the house. But tomorrow they can be running their corner shop. Because no one's checking nothing. So 11 flights. So you look when they say they've closed the borders. Have they closed the borders? Did they really close the border? If I went to the border, could I get out of the UK? I could drive. Would they stop me? They would if ask you questions. you have a French car or if you change on the border, one guy coming from UK Another from France, they change cars, they enter the French okay. guy in UK car, the English guy in French okay. car. So, let's say we don't change cars. If I drive English car, I get to Dover, I take the ferry, I say, here's my Spanish residence card, I'm on my way to Spain. There's no physical border in France. There's no physical guards to say in France and Spain that you can't enter. As soon as I'm through, I'm through. I'm there, I'm done. So only airports are being it? checked so far. This is what I'm saying to you. Crazy. So, okay. okay, you'd be a lunatic to even think to say, today I'm going to drive to Spain. Of course, a total lunatic. But what I'm saying is, the borders aren't closed, are they? I miss Spain. I would this drive. Would be this would, be, this would be a dream for um, to get all of the people in Calais to get them back into the UK. Do you think they're being checked, all of these trucks? For people, don't think so. So you'll find, again, how much of this virus is, is still coming in the UK? How much? How much of this virus is the UK still letting out? I multiply all figures by 100 in my mind. That's all. So I think it is 100 times more, two levels, than the actual figures which they announce. The clandestine undiscovered quantities are times bigger than what they announce and what they discover with the problematic not working tests. Problematic not working tests and the fact they're not testing. Because I could be sitting talking to you now and I could have this virus, I may think that, oh, but you, uh, I have a little small cold, I may have had the virus. And they would never know. So I then go and pass this on to 10, 20 different people. They never know.
But they told us from day one that this does not transfer on parcels. Okay. So everyone that is at home orders off Jeff from Amazon. Everybody, Amazon, 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 Amazon. It's okay. Don't don't worry about your parcels. It doesn't contain the virus. They then come and say, this is surface virus. This can live for three, four, five days. So make sure that you sanitize your delivery before you take it in. But there's no sanitizer. So wash your hands. Wash your hands. And poor Boris, come on, poor Boris. If you look at it, go back and you'll see all the YouTube replays when the virus first started. The UK's answer, as if it was some kind of new phenomenon to us, mm -hmm. wash your hands. Yeah? This yeah. is the guy, our minister. Wash your hands, stay at home, everything will be safe, together we will beat the virus by washing our hands. Blah, blah. But isn't this what we teach our children, to wash our hands? <laughs> Don't we teach them when they're like... It's like something new for everyone. Not something new. People now having to look at moisturizer because they wash their hands too much. Skin coming off their hands too much in their hands. Mate, I so come on, what's your opinion? Sorry. What's your opinion the effect of it all? Oh, come on. What's it doing to people's mentalities? I think to my it came to my mind that we are using everywhere as the government word responsibility. That everybody is responsible we consider people to be responsible and that's why this self quarantine for two weeks we um, are announcing it based on your responsible responsibility or your being responsible how many responsible people we know in ordinary life if a person needs to escape he will escape if a person finds he is positive, virus positive, but he doesn't know anybody else know, he will keep his hip, uh, mouth shut. He it's simply, <laughs> because of being irresponsible, will do nothing. But he will be spreading all over. Responsibility. So reality, reality is responsibility. It's, it means nothing. Nobody is responsible. But then why in other countries... Now, does this come back to how you guys were brought up? Let's use Belarus, let's go Ukraine, let's go Russia, let's go Poland. Okay, let's look at the east of Europe. When you guys have been told to be responsible, maybe not Belarus because you weren't told to be responsible. We cannot but talk Ukraine about country, country is responsible, country is irresponsible, this is shit. No, right, but is there a mentality, is there a mentality that if the government tell people in Poland wear face masks, they wear face masks. If the government tell people in the UK wear face masks, we don't wear face masks. So I'm asking you, is there a different mentality as to they will listen? No. The, the mentality is like this. If the government says, please wear masks, be responsible, nobody will listen. But if the government says, there is a law, we punish you, police is on every corner, we will kill you. Everybody will wear masks. But for own responsibility, people will think government is not providing masks. They push us to buy expensive mas masks from the drug, drug stores. And yeah. they won't fulfill this obligation. There is, there is the side as well that the government didn't listen. The government can't supply enough masks for the health workers, never mind for the UK normal people. Same in, but, Europe, same in, in Russia, same in anywhere, everywhere. People are not provided in full ratio what they need. Pete, are churches working or any religious organizations? Are no, they no. open? No. 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 In, in Russia. Well, you seen the one in America? So far. Did you see the one in America? Oh no. In America? No. Did you see? No. I saw the pastor. They call it pastor in America, yeah? Yes, pastor. The pastor tells his people, come to the church. You're not gonna get the virus, come to the church. He's dead now. <laughs> he died. He had to, he got virus. <laughs> Church, you're protected. <laughs> He's not there now. 
So, no, funerals, funerals, every, every person, no matter where they die, UK maximum, I think, is five people at the funeral. There's no weddings. But the UK has got 25% more cases of phone calls, domestic violence, domestic abuse. How many uh, percent increase? 25%. 25% in three weeks. 25% in three weeks. Husbands, wives fighting. Girlfriends, boyfriends fighting. People that hate each other that shouldn't live together to start with that are then phoning, hello, can you come to help? Come on. 25%. So the government said we give them 10 million to a domestic abuse hotline. We will make much new telephone lines. We'll give a call centre. Go to the mental health of people, mate. Every battle is won and lost in the mind. This is not doing good for people's mental health. Because people are just sitting <coughs> all day listening to the news. All day. Brainwashed by the news. Everyone waiting for five o'clock for what the government will announce. Because at 5 p.m. every day, the UK announces number of cases, number of deaths, it's like it's became, and have you seen about our clapping? Have you seen about the clap? Yeah, I've seen in Spain, in Italy, in Italy. UK every Tuesday, also. every Tuesday, every Tuesday, everyone's leaving their homes. They're clapping. Then when Boris had the illness, we had Boris Thursday. We all stood out and clapped for Boris. They all hate him normally, but everyone's oh, Boris has it. I don't think he was listening from Scotland to people clapping, but... Did humanity Boris have the virus? Is getting mentally sick. Oh, humanity. Did Boris have the virus? Or not? What's your theory? Do you think he had it? I don't know. I, I, I don't have any basis or arguments to contradict or to confirm. So, he might have, he might have not. Why, why do you doubt that? He should have had. Why? No, I think it was convenient because the UK people were not staying at home. So I think when Prince Charles was announced and then Boris was announced, I think it was let's shock the nation. Prince Charles think, also hey, was sick? Coronavirus? Prince Charles had the virus. Yeah. Survived. But he had he had mild dose. Just mild. And then the Queen comes and gives a speech the first time, I think second time. In all of the years, Six, 60 years that she actually, second time in 60 yeah, that she addresses the nation. But, again, it was all scripted. It would have been very nice if she'd have came off the cuff, you say, that she had just spoke what she felt. But it was recorded four days earlier. Mm. And then they make, the, in four days' time, it's played on the television. So it, by the time it came, the virus has spread much more. Things have got out of control much more. It kind of then became very impersonal that this speech was like from a television set made four days ago. Who knew that it was made four days prior? BBC. The BBC made it. Well, the BBC is also run by the government. <laughs> so every day... So they so set is, up the Queen? Was, no, the, the Queen probably set it all up. So the government are all working with the BBC and the Queen. Telling him. <laughs> Data report, 5 p.m. Yes. Okay. Go to YouTube, UK Data report, 5 p.m. They give all of their speeches. They tell you what's happened. They give all of their confusing graphs and charts. Yeah? Always making it sound better than what it should. And then they say, right, now we'll take questions from journalists. The journalists are also on television because they're not allowed for social distance purposes in the room. It's the same four journalists. It's from the BBC, from IT, ITN, from Channel 4 and from Sky. Yeah? And I'm telling you, all of the questions 
they know their questions before they've even been asked. They're all, they're all pre-scripted. All of them. They should be having me on there asking questions that actually matter. Mate, did you watch the mm -hmm. serial Black Mirror, which is the British serial? The Black Mirror. Black Mirror. No. It is about no. all of this. It is the British serial. I advised you like two, three years back. It is just the best of the best. Netflix, I think, made it. But it is anyway the British serial, The Black Mirror. It has four or five seasons. But first and second are just brilliant, outstanding. Must the Black Mirror. The Black I told Mirror. You, yeah, I told you that I watched the one on Netflix, the Ukraine guy, the Ukraine president. He's absolutely genius. Ah, yes. The, the one he done, brilliant. And how it all came true and how it all comes true and how it's all coming true even today. And now what they the say corruption. about this, that nothing is changed, that he is completely impotential and that he cannot possess the skills to run the government. Absolutely. He's a good person. Absolutely impotent in governing. Well, and he's still a good actor. corrupt. Good actor. And good person. Good very personality. Good person. No, good personality. Comes across very well. Oh. And hey, Chernobyl and the fires. In Russian we have a proverb, literally. A good person is not a profession. <laughs> so, <laughs> when they say, he's a good guy, we should take care of him. This guy is a very good guy. Good guy is not right, a profession. Not profession. <laughs> not profession. So, and you look a good guy, doesn't make a good politician. Um, look at it. But then if you look at it, you have Trump as the world leader. <laughs> What does that say? <laughs> no, what I, does that say? I smile, I smile. <laughs> but what does it say? You've got Trump as the as the leader of the free world. Who well, who turned around and said I'm the president? Well, I've got presidential powers. I can do what I want because I am the president. And then we go back to the constitution, get all the experts in constitutional law and say, well, no. What he said is wrong, the governors. No, I'm the president. It was this week, I think, he mentioned <laughs> that he's about I am the everything. Yes. I am. Well, I think the guy in New York, yeah, just basically said he's talking like he's the king. <laughs> he's the king. He's, he's the king of everything. Well, if you listen, hey, everything with Trump's correct, everything's brilliant. He's got the world's best ventilators, best manufacturing, uh, world's strongest economy ever before this. Do you remember the little chubby rocket man? And then fantastic meeting, fantastic North Korean performance. Oh, He's a fantastic oh, no. guy. <laughs> <laughs> and first, an time. ugly, chubby <laughs> rocket man. Well, it's, it's a little bit like China. Look at the trade deal and the trade war before he struck the trade deal. Then he sits there and says, I've struck potentially, I think, yeah, the best trade deal in the history of the world. <laughs> yeah, two weeks later, China's, China's got that virus. Two weeks after the trade deal. Uh, oil production in the US were, were the biggest we're the biggest producer in the whole world. We don't need nobody. Well you don't need nobody now. <laughs> it's crazy. Folks, if you listen to him, everything is fantastic. The silent the silent war that they face isn't, but he's built more hospital beds, more ventilators, more gloves, more masks, like you've never seen in the world before. You've never, you've never seen it. We're going to have more masks than the world knows what to do with. Ventilators? America has got in production like half a million ventilators. Um, you know, but it's okay. We're going to send them to places that need them. <laughs> We're going to send them. So maybe Mince gets some little thing for you. See all these ventilators. Yeah. It's not like... You don't have the budget it's not to like, buy. 
No, 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 forget the payment. Just forget that. Let's say we let's say it gives you them free of charge. Yeah? It's not like an on-off switch, mate. This is a high-tech piece of kit. Everybody says that this you is need a specially trained niece who will take care of the device. Absolutely. So it's like, no joke, a fish machine turns up to me today. It's not an on-off switch. It's not a case of read the instruction manuals and that will tell you what to do. You've got to know what this is. So making all these ventilators, where are all the people that's going to operate all these ventilators? Well, you don't just put the tube down the throat and turn it on. But we've got half a million in progress. We can probably buy ourselves some time. Okay? So we've bought ourselves these three weeks. We can probably buy ourselves another three weeks. Okay? So that's six weeks. Denmark has opened. They opened this last week. Germany will start to reopen. We've got six weeks observation to see what happens. So we observe, but you've got to look at the trend. And at the end of it, it will be USA number one, UK number two on number of deaths. It will be. We will overtake Italy. We will overtake France. We will overtake Spain. So. Because you started late. I think we're is it because that you started late? No, it's because we didn't shut down. We didn't shut down. So the day that I got back to the UK, when lockdown was apparently just starting to be in force, it wasn't locked down. It delayed for two more weeks. They let the schools open. And they allowed, they allowed, when we were seeing the news in Italy, we were seeing the news in Spain, we were seeing that the virus has started in the UK. They allowed the horse racing festival and they allowed 150,000 people to go to the festival. So we kind of left it. We left it two to three weeks later than everyone else to even put the measures in place. Was it a good the horse UK festival? Was it nice? Was it worth seeing? Well, I wasn't there, but I presume it was nice. I presume many people won lots of money and more lost much more. I presume. Horse festival, oh. meaning what? They were buying and selling horses? Or what is no, that? No, no, no. Just, it's a full, a full weekend, a full weekend of the Cheltenham Festival. So lots and lots of horse racing, lots of people drinking, music, food. Just perfect for social isolation. In, for social distance. <laughs> in what uh, city did it take place? Cheltenham. 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 Well, Cheltenham, yeah, it's down, down south. So, 150,000. Football matches, we, we didn't close off when the rest of mainland Europe had closed. So, we did leave it that two or three weeks. The head UK guy came out of the health department and said he wanted herd immunity. Okay? We would do different. As the UK, we wanted to have our people build up, have the virus build up immunity to the virus. He's never been seen on television since. <laughs> I think he lost his job. Herd, herd immunity. Which makes, it makes sense if it is flu. But if it is virus from China, from Wuhan, it doesn't make any sense. But herd immunity was, meaning to save her, the herd. And he was willing no, to, yeah. to get infected. No, no, no. Well, her, well, no, herd, immunity herd, immunity be, herd immunity would be that you have a bigger, bigger percentage of the population with the virus than without the virus. And then, of course... Everyone that has the virus, we build immunity to the virus in the hope that we all become immune to the virus. Now, if it was flu, it would work. If it was cold, common cold, it would work. But a virus derived from potentially two species of bats from Wuhan and maybe some laboratory in China that no one has an answer to, 
no vaccine, no medication, nothing to treat. And like I said, he hasn't been seen on television since. No, nobody knows where he is. Is he a chief medical doctor or chief viro virologist? Well, I think you would have to. You have to use the word "was he." Was he? I think you have to say past tense. I think. I think now he works at supermarkets. <laughs> I think he now works at the supermarket. So was he a virologist? <laughs> Or was he just a chief medical doctor for the UK, or how you call no, it? No, he was. I do, I do believe he was the chief virologist in the UK. A chief virologist, expert, opinion, herd immunity. Having studied probably in China. Probably. <laughs> Potentially studying bats. Oh, yeah. My dad didn't call, no. no. <laughs> All right. So, and then I spoke to Manolo in Spain. To Manolo. Um, I, I tried to get the feeling for how it was. And it's tragic. It's not about case numbers. It's not about, because I think Torrevieja has um, 1,200 cases. So it's not massive. It's all about the lockdown, I think he said to me, is now week six or week seven. He has not left the flat, apart from to go to the supermarket. But the supermarket, he went one time. You have to have a permit from the town hall to go to the supermarket. He waited for five hours at the little one round from my corner. Okay. He got in the supermarket, he said there was just no choice of nothing. So the government took the steps, they deliver the food every day from, I don't know where, from the town hall. So Manolo's food for six, seven weeks has been delivered from the government. Um, tobacco, you have to have permit to go to tobacconist. He got the permit, he buys 30, 40 packets per one time, but all day, every day in the flat. <laughs> 